Namaste, Sitaram, a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Rajaya. I'm your host, Nisha Sharma, and Rajaya is being brought to you with the kind compliments of Maharujadev Mandir. And of course, the Mandir is located at 850 Tapscott Road, Unit 34 in Scarborough, with Tapscott and McNichol being our closest intersection. So today is a very, very special program. We have a very special program in store for you. It is, uh, we're celebrating our spiritual leader's birthday. Uh, tomorrow at Maharajadev Mandir. So today we dedicate this entire program to him as he celebrates his birthday tomorrow morning at Maharajadev Mandir. It is an open invitation to all of you who would like to join us in celebrating Pandit Ravi's birthday tomorrow during our Sunday morning service. We begin at 10 a.m. and we conclude at noon. So please be sure if you can make it. It is probably one of the last Sundays for the year before Christmas. Please come down and join with us. For now, we will join our spiritual leader, Pandit Ravi Sharma, for our Pravachan. Enjoy. that Dravan begins to interrogate uh, Shri Hanumanji. Then he calls uh, Shri Hanumanji a bandar. Dero bandar, dero monkey. And remember, Hanumanji can never ever be a monkey. By whose might uh, have you come and you have, call, uh, you have brought destruction upon uh, mangrove? On whose might, uh, really and truly, have you come? And so Shri Hanumanji is just waiting for this golden opportunity in which he wants to drive home the point, the truth of all life. And so Hanumanji to Siraji Maharaj states that he replies towards the questions posed by Ravan in a firm tone, most gentle, but so bold, so frank, but so sober, so hard hitting but so well motivated. The intention of Shri Hanumanji was to banish away the ego that he had, to banish away and to drive home such truth. So he makes every Herculean effort to come and change the heart of Ravan, to realize the art of futility of his selfish endeavors. He, Shri Hanumanji, he comes and he says that uh, he wants to persuade Ravan to follow the right pathway. And he comes and he says that uh, you have on whose strength? Well, I tell you on the strength of my Lord. I tell you upon uh, the strength of my God that I've come to, I've come and such has happened. It is said that my Lord is the one who comes and supports uh, this entire world upon his little finger when he came as Krishna. It is my Lord who comes as Narayan who comes and over and over. Hence Ravan, he continues. What I say to you is that you should give up and mend the evil ways. Oh, 
Whether you are looking for permanent or temporary employees, for industrial or office needs. So call us now at 647 693 7745 or visit our website at www.extrastaffing.ca. My dear viewers, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's Pravachan and we're so excited today on Rudraya as we celebrate our spiritual leader's birthday, Pandit Ravi Sharma. And tomorrow morning, the celebration continues at Maharajadiv Mandir. So we cordially invite you. If you haven't visited us for the entire year, this is your chance to come out and join with us and celebrate his birthday tomorrow morning from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. We'll now join our own Dr. Sachin Ramki soon for our health segment. Sita Ram and welcome to Health Corner. I am Dr. Sachin Ramkisun, and today is the second in our two-part pregnancy series on the developing fetus. Today we are focusing on how the fetus is affected by its surrounding environment. At the conclusion of last week's talk, we highlighted that the first 12 weeks of fetal development is the crucial time where all the organs and structures are formed. The last 28 weeks of the pregnancy is where the already formed organs grow in size. Therefore, these first 12 weeks are when the growing baby is the most susceptible to its environment and various stressors that we will now discuss. The growing fetus is supplied by the placenta, which provides the nourishment and the oxygen needed for growth. Most everything the mother ingests, including food, liquids, and medications, travel through the placenta to the fetus. Anything the mother is exposed to in the environment affects the fetus. And if the mother is exposed to something harmful, the child can show lifelong effects. The first we will discuss is alcohol. Alcohol use during pregnancy is the leading cause of preventable mental disability in children. Excessive alcohol drinking during pregnancy can cause fetal alcohol syndrome, which results in lifelong consequences for the child. This can include a smaller head size, abnormal facial features, learning disabilities, and developmental delays. There is no known safe levels of alcohol during pregnancy, so it is recommended that all pregnant women avoid, avoid alcohol, especially during the first 12 weeks. The next is drug use. Illegal drugs such as heroin, cocaine, and ecstasy can cause a range of developmental problems, including physical and mental disabilities and low birth weight. The baby can sometimes be born addicted to certain drugs if the mother habitually used during pregnancy. The next is prescription medication. There are many known medications that can affect the growing fetus and many more drugs where the effect is not known because there are just no studies available. It is crucial that all medications be reviewed by a physician to see if they are safe to use during pregnancy. The next is smoking. Nicotine from cigarette smoke travels through the placenta and to the fetus. This can result in low birth weight, stillbirth, and sudden infant death syndrome. The greater the exposure to cigarette smoke, the greater the chance of an adverse outcome. This also applies to secondhand smoke. Another exposure risk is radiation. This is commonly seen in x-rays and CT scans and can directly cause developmental and birth defects. It is important to have a discussion with your physician before having any procedure where radiation exposure is a possibility. 
The last major environmental factor is the mother's psychological state. Any form of stress experienced by the mother can have negative effects on fetal development and leads to harm to both mother and child. When the mother experiences excessive stress, there are stress hormones that are released into the blood and that can cross the placenta, affecting baby and baby's growth. There are many studies that clearly show that excessive stress during pregnancy is linked to pregnancy complications. Similarly, depression or excessive anxiety in the mother during pregnancy is associated with higher complication rates and fetal mortality. It is very clear that mother's psychological well-being has a lot to do with proper development of the fetus. At 18 weeks of pregnancy, the fetus can hear its surroundings, including any voices. This is where the developing baby listens and responds to sounds and voices. Talking to baby in a calm, positive tone helps stimulate brain development and often baby moves and kicks in response to these positive sounds. I hope that this two-part series on fetal development has been useful to you. I thank you for joining with me on Health Corner and I look forward to speaking with you again next week on Rudraya. प्यार दीवाना होता है मस्ताना होता है हर खुशी से हर गम से बेगाना होता है प्यार दीवाना होता है मस्ताना होता है हर खुशी से हर गम से बेगाना होता है providing quality temporary staffing to various companies throughout the GTA since 2001. 
We have competitive rates, we take care of all your recruitment needs and payroll cost, and we provide transportation. Our friendly and knowledgeable recruiters are here to assist you, whether you are looking for permanent or temporary employees, for industrial or office needs. So call us now at 647-693-7745 or visit our website at www.extrastaffing.ca. My dear viewers, we are at the corporate segment, so we'll now, now join Lotus Funeral Home, Kamalji, our corporate segment host. Sitram and Namaste. My name is Kamal Bardwaj and I am the owner of Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center in Toronto and Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium in Kitchener. I am also a licensed funeral director. The topic of mental health is an important one in today's society. Unfortunately, I deal with families that have a loved one pass away due to suicide. Suicide is the act of intentionally causing one's own death. This occurs in all ages and ethnicities, social factors, and income. Statistics indicate men die by suicide more than three times as often as women. However, women attempt suicide three times more often than men. People turn to suicides for many reasons. They turn to suicide when hope is lost or to end their pain. Sometimes suicide is a result of an impulsive act due to substance abuse. Suicide can be prevented. Some of the signs that someone is feeling suicidal are as follows. Sudden change in mood or behavior, sense of helplessness, talk about end their life, withdraw from people and activities that they enjoyed before. If you are feeling this way or know of someone like this, please get some professional help. At Lotus Funeral and Cremation Center, and at Kitchener Funeral Homes and Crematorium, we operate seven days a week and 24 hours a day. Our crematorium is located in our building, so we never have to leave our building in cold or bad weather for a cremation. Our crematorium space can have a large group of people to attend the witnessing of the cremation as well. For Hindu families, we can provide all the puja items, including fresh leaves and a haven kund. We have large halls that can accommodate 500 seating to smaller ones. We are centrally located for families in the west and families from the east. For more information, please contact me from the telephone number on the screen. Thank you for watching and see you next week on Rudraya. Sitaram. Life is beautiful, but death is inevitable. I realized this when my dad passed away. So much pain and amidst all this, the worry of arranging a funeral. Thankfully, in all this, Kamal stood by me. From the viewing to the cremation, he arranged it all at one location. Once someone is gone, they don't come back. But Lotus Funeral Home knows how to give them a respectable farewell. Lotus Funeral Home. Life must be celebrated. Bhagavan Vajayne Karene Ke Liye जो प्रात समय उत जाता ये भगवान वजन भगवान वजन करने के लिए जो प्रात समय उत जाता ये
happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday to you par par din ye aaye par par dil ye gaaye tu jiye hazaron saal ye meri hai arzu My dear viewers, I know that Christmas is almost upon us, and we are busy out doing our shopping, and um, you know everybody is in in the mood, and you know we are going to be self-reflecting for the end of the year, and also today on Rudraya we've celebrated our spiritual leader Pandit Ravi Sharma his birthday, and the, the celebration continues tomorrow. So if you can make it, please come on down to Maharaja Dev Mandir tomorrow morning for our regular Sunday service, as well as our celebration of our spiritual leader's birthday. 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Would like to thank our kind sponsors at Maharaja Dev Mandir, as well as our executive producer Gauri Khan for making Rujaya possible. So until we meet again next week, have a blessed week. Namaste. Bole ki jay jay Shiv ji ki jay jay. Bole ki jay jay Shiv ji ki jay jay. Bole ki jay jay Shiv ji ki jay jay. Bole ki jay. जय शिव जी की जय जय बोले की जय जय शिव जी की जय जय पार्वती पति शिव जी की जय जय पार